Uh, so my name is Kay Cooper and I have been volunteering with ODA off and on for the last 13 years, um, but most consistently four since I have moved back to the Big Island. So I first heard about ODA from Kohala Divers. Um, I actually got certified with Kohala Divers and I started to participate in their cleanups and that's when I first met Kurt. Um, the first cleanup we ever did was part of a dive club event and I got hooked. I was so addicted to all the amount of rubbish that we were pulling out of the ocean and there was also an entangled turtle at the time and so to hear the proper authorities that we had to call and they were on site within a couple of hours and they actually uh, removed the entanglement from the animal. From that point on, it was just, it was over with. I was hooked and that's how I met Kurt. The thing I am most impressed with with ODA is their network, their connections. You have so many people from so many different backgrounds all over the place, all over the world that come together just on vacation or through his connections with one common goal, one common interest, and that's to remove rubbish from the ocean. They participate all over the islands. They try to really touch the locals. And that to me is very important because we are here on this island, living here amongst the local community with the critters in the ocean. And ODA really tries to get the local community involved. Um, they have such a large expanse knowledge of the rubbish in the ocean and how does that affect coral life and how can we be a very big voice and physical presence to help in generations. Um, so it's not just, you know, hey, the volunteers are here, we're cleaning, but what does this mean to other people? What does this mean to the local families that go fishing here? Um, do they realize how much that line and that lead actually affect the local wildlife that they are actually trying to catch and release? So it's, uh, it's very important to reach local community and that's what ODA is big on, definitely. Oh, the work ODA does makes a huge difference. Um, I mean, how can you, you just have hundreds of pounds of stuff coming out of the ocean, the tires coming out of the ocean, no longer there, able to survive so many fish and coral reefs. And um, as the, the fishing line is up in the water column, things swimming by will get entangled in it. So I know that ODA makes a huge difference and yes, it has a big impact on our oceans. Favorite animal I've seen on a dive would probably have to be the Honu. I have seen several Honus that have been entangled and they have, each one of them has turned around after we have freed them and actually kind of hung out with us, come to us a little bit and has swam on. Every time that this has happened, um, it's pretty magical. We have pulled um, office chairs out of the ocean. We have also pulled kitchen trash sacks full of trash out of the ocean. So it's, it's pretty interesting the amount of things that will just make its way into the waters without really much of a thought. So it would have to be the whole news for sure. I see garbage in the ocean when I dive a lot of the time, um, probably at least once per week minimum. Uh, most of the rubbish that we do see is fishing line, netting, rope. Um, we do also get a lot of lead, which will leach out. Um, one of my absolute favorite dive sites is the site called Black Point. And we did do an ODA cleanup at Black Point, just going about five minutes north of the site itself and the entire place was um, entangled in line. So we did a huge uh, boat cleanup there and removed about 80% of it and we will actually be going back this year. I do feel people should donate to ODA because of the local involvement in the community. Um, we are helping protect not only the ocean but also the land. Each time ODA does come out to do a ocean cleanup. We are also um, doing a beach cleanup. Each time ODA also comes out, we do free education. Um, we do talk to the local community about how they can get involved, partnerships, and what does all this rubbish out of the ocean mean and how does it help. 
So by donations, ODA is able to further expand and continue their work in multiple places, not just Hawaii and California.